In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to install Audacity so you can get up and running on it today. All right guys, so let's take a look at how to install Audacity. We'll go to Google. And we're gonna type in audacityteam.org. All right, and so first thing, we're just gonna click on this right here, go to that site. And it just gives you some details about what the software is like. And we're gonna actually go to download and you're gonna choose whatever platform you're on. As you can see, you can do Mac, Windows, or Linux. So I am on a Mac, I'm gonna hit Mac. And right here is what we'll click on to go ahead and download it if you meet the system requirements. If you wanna see that, you can go ahead and click this, um, which is just further down the page, actually. <clears throat> It says OS X 10.7 or later. If you happen to have an older version, you just go down to uh, the legacy settings. When you just click right here, um, that'll enable you to download for the older Macs if you have one. But for this scenario, we're gonna go ahead and just click right here on this DMG file. And we'll click on Mac OS DMG and that starts downloading. Okay, we'll go to our downloads and choose the Audacity DMG right here. Double click that and it will open. <clears throat> All right, so it pops up with this window here just saying to drag the Audacity icon into the applications folder. Do that. And now it should be in our applications here. So as you go to applications, it is right there. And we can just double click. And it's just making sure that um, you understand that you're opening something from a unidentified developer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and open that. Sweet, so it pops up. And that is how you install Audacity. And in the next video, I'm gonna go over how to create a new project in this. If you happen to see this window, uh, this, is, this didn't show up for me um, because I have installed Audacity on this Mac before. But if it's your first time installing it and you happen to see this window, then uh, you'll just go ahead and check pretty much everything on this, uh, on this list. It's just all the effects that you can use in the software so that it can work just fine. Uh, and it'll all be integrated effects that you can use uh, with your recordings. So if you happen to see that, go ahead and just uh, check everything, check every box that you want to be included in the software that you can use and go from there. All right, so since I'm on a Mac, I can't actually show the install of a Windows machine, but um, if you need to download for Windows, you just hover over download. You go down to Windows, click on that and you will install this first installer for the current version. Um, if you need to view the system require, requir if you need to view the system requirements, you can just hit system requirements here. And it'll take you to the bottom of the page. And it will show you what you need. Um, and if you happen to have an older Windows machine, it will show you that you can download the uh, older legacy versions here. <clears throat> we go back to the top and we want to click on the installer and that will take you to fosshub.com just like on the Mac and you'll do the installer which is the one that comes with the user manual you'll click on that and it will download an exe file for you and then you'll just double click that to open it and run through the installer just like any other Windows software and you'll be up and running all right so let's go back I am not super familiar with Linux, but if you are on Linux, you can go down to Linux here under download. And it shows all the information that you needed out here, including the system requirements at the bottom. So just follow the prompts on here that it tells you that you need to do. I'm sure you know much more about it than I would, but uh, that is where you would go to download for Linux. 
and I am on a Mac, so I will be downloading for Mac right here. Again, that is the Audacity DMG file. And that also takes you to FossHub, where you need to download the Mac OS DMG. All right, so if you're on Linux, you would click this one. If you're on Windows, it would be this installer here. And if you need the manual separately, you can just download right here. So, all right, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.